What's up, Warriors? Today, we're going to talk about instant gratification, the definition of instant gratification. A lot of people don't know what that is, or they play stupid, like if they don't know what that is, because instant gratification is wanting it right now. Instant gratification is not going to bring you inner peace and contentment. Why? Because that right there is materialistic. Instant gratification is something that you could obtain with money or something that you could actually get quick enough to satisfy you temporary. Uh, and it's not going to help you because uh, most of the time, you know, we get over it quick. It's like buying a new car. And next thing you know, month or two, you can't even, you don't even want to wash it. <clears throat> so <clears throat> instant gratification, the reason why I bring it out uh, and I want to talk about it because uh, a lot of my team members and uh, people that I talk to, you know, is they seem to start falling off when it, when it, when it's going good as well. You know, one of my team members, you know, I, I go through a lot of my uh, messages and a lot of times I address a lot of uh, situations where most of the team members that are struggling with, uh, with getting results because they lost their drive, they're not motivated no more, uh, they don't know what happened, where, where the motivation went. Some of them lost some weight and they got content or they got, uh, they got a lot of, uh, you know, they, they, they got a lot of people telling them that, you know, they did a great job. You know, they pat them on the back. Too many compliments. Too many compliments will mess you up as well. And they're getting, uh, I mean, they're just falling for the, you know, for their own, uh, you know, their, their, their own lies because uh, they know that that's not the plan. They know that, you know, like I tell them, that was not the goal. But since people are telling you that, you know, obviously you look amazing now, uh, you have a great transformation and uh, man, they're, they're giving you too many compliments. So people right away, they'll, they'll start slowing down. They'll start getting, you know, um, you know, people, they let people get in their head. And then the problem is that, you know, like I said, you know, they're getting regretted. A lot of them are regretting it already. You know, because uh, exactly, that's not what they want. That's not where they want it to be. And a lot of times, the reason why they fall for it, because when they uh, get pressure, you know, a lot of parties that are going on right now, like I said, you know, you're tempted, you're feeling good. So feeling good, it, it, it's also a problem because then you give yourself too much slack. If you don't have that discipline, if you don't have reminders of your purpose or you know, why we still got to stay on course and, and still stay uh, disciplined <clears throat> during, uh, you know, events, during, uh, you know, times that, you know, you're being tested or, you know, good times, the good times, you know, because everybody in the bad times, well, you know, you're, you're not doing good. So you stay more disciplined, you stay more committed because you're trying to move up. But at a certain point, we stumble. At a certain point, we get stuck. I had went through it. And a lot of people are going through it. Once you know yourself so good, I already know what they're talking about. I already know what the problem is. So what I tell them is like, you just want instant gratification. You want, you know, that pleasure in the moment. Knowing that the results are going to take longer. So the more you engage in that behavior, the more you fall for that, you know, that behavior of you, you know, uh, you know, seeking pleasure or instant gratification, <clears throat> you start regressing, you go backwards. So you're never going to reach your goal if you keep doing that. And that's, it's, a, it's, it's something that we have programmed here, something that we have in our head that we, you know, it's just our habits, our habits of always, you know, reaching a certain point and then letting off the gas. Like I said, we all done it. It takes a strong individual. It takes somebody that's uh, have self mastery or that is being coached because when those uh, problems happen or those situations are, uh, you know, they arise, then you're able to uh, communicate with your coach, which a lot of people, like I said, I fucking go straight up and, uh, you know, let them have it like I see it because I done it. So I got to tell them, you got to be honest with yourself. That's not where you want to be. <coughs> you got <clears throat> bigger goals. So you got to stick to it. Put some power behind it. You know, up, uphold your word on what you said you were going to do. Plain and simple. Like, they're like, damn, coach, I, I don't know what happened to my motivation. Um, fuck, man, I, I signed up for a year. I lost 40 pounds. All of a sudden, you know, 
everything's going good in my life. I'm getting compliments. I got a raise. I got more, you know, more money now financially. <clears throat> so this was one of the conversations I had this week. And I'm like, fuck, so it seems like it's going good. Why would you want to let off the gas? Why, why would you want to stop on what, you know, helped you, you know, obtain all those stuff on what helped you get the 40 pounds off and what, on what helped you, you know, be more energetic, be more happy, you know, probably, you know, that was the reason why you got, you know, a raise or you got a better job. So this is me conversating with them. And he's like, fuck, I just, I just don't know. You, you just don't put no power behind it. You just gave up because you want instant gratification. You got deep pockets, you're feeling good, but deep down inside, you know, you still don't feel good. You still, you, you still know that we have a lot more work to do and you still, you know, are, are lying to yourself. You're trying to convince your mind something that your heart knows is a lie. And the reason why I know that because I, I, I talk to these individuals and I evaluate them when they hop on the team. So I know we have a plan set. So when I talk to them, it's I got to talk them out of all those bad decisions that they're fucking creating in their head. That's what a coach is there to do, to talk you out of all the bad decisions, all the shit that you're making up in your head, you know, patting yourself in the back, congratulating yourself too early and trying to let off the gas. Trying to fucking, you know, be uh, a little undisciplined here, a little undisciplined there, a little undisciplined here. And at the end of the you know, at the end of the day, it, you know, it's going to come a time where it's every little minor setback, it's going to matter. <clears throat> so that's what I'm trying to avoid with these guys. You know, we got to stop seeking instant gratification, wanting that pleasure now or, you know, when when things are going your way, you know, you you're forget about your goal because you want that gra instant gratification now. You want to feel good now. Like... You being where you're at is not good enough. You got to do something to make yourself feel good. And it, that, that something that we always go after is what puts us back. Whether it's like, damn, man, I've been a uh, couple months with no drink, you know. I haven't fucking drank a beer. I haven't, you know, ate some crazy food. And all of a sudden, you reward yourself. Instant gratification. You want it. You'll try it. And then a lot of people slip. They fall back. And if you don't have a coach to pick you back up, that's when the problem happens. That's when the... But that's when the fucking uh, uh, doubt comes in because, fuck, if you never even had a plan, if you ne never even had a fucking blueprint or a coach to go and uh, have that, uh, you know, have that talk with and and, uh, and try to fucking uh, tell them what's going on, fuck, you, you, you're you just, you're going to dig yourself deeper in a hole. So, you know, a lot of times, like I said, if you have a plan, at least you know you got to get back to it and fucking, you know, keep pushing. Because that's what got you there. That's what got you the 40 pounds off. That's what got you, you know, a, you know, a better job, a better raise. It's not the other way. <clears throat> you don't stop because things are going good. You know how they say, oh, you know, when, when shit's hard, when shit hits the fan, or when you don't want to do the workout, those are the best workouts. What's the other way around, too? When you're so happy and you don't want to fucking do it because... It's a beautiful day and everything's going your way and uh, you just want to leave that, you know, your workout aside or, you know, don't track your meals that day. You're feeling good. You're vibing high. It's the same shit. You're regressing. Those are the days you got to buckle down and handle business. All you guys got to stop seeking instant gratification, knowing that you're not where you want to be yet. You cannot, you know, act in a manner of just... Throwing everything away, regressing. If you don't progress, you regress. There is no stagnation. There is no, oh, I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to chill. No, you got to be moving forward or else you're going to start regressing. So let's get this through our head and uh, really, you know, see the definition of instant gratification because a lot of people, that's what they're falling, you know, back into. <laughs> and like I said, it could be you, you know, just... Man, having a good day, having a good time, you know, positive, nothing negative is happening. So everything running smooth into your life. And people tend to slow down. You can't slow down. You got to keep on pushing. That's the message of the day. You got to keep on pushing regardless if it's going good, if it's going, you know, as planned. You don't stop. You don't slow down. You keep the momentum going. 
because you will fall into that trap and start regressing. Let's run it.